Hello soulmates. It is indeed a pleasure to have you once more on my channel. My name is Melissa and today I'll be showing you how to sew, cut and sew a shirt dress. Now for those who have always been here, as I've always said, thank you so much. For those who are just joining, you are absolutely welcome. So let's begin with this tutorial. For this project, you're going to need either some pins or your wonder clip. You're going to need interfacing for the color. You're going to need your scissors. You're going to, because we're drafting on the fabric itself, you're going to need a um, chalk and you're also going to need your sewing tools. Okay. So let's begin. So the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to start with or the front of the this shirt dress. So there are some lines that I have drawn here and I'll explain to you each what um, they are. So at the front, this is the front. So it means that we're going to have a button placket and buttons at the front of this style so at the front here i took from the edge of my fabric two and a half in seam allowance that will serve as my button placket so because i'm this is i folded my fabric in two so this is my fabric and i folded it folded it in two so to know how much fabric you fold you're going to take the biggest part of your body your your, your body measurement so my the biggest part of my body is my hip my hip is 42 inches or sometimes I use 43 inches and I divide that by four I'm going to get ten and a half and what I did was that I added this two and a half inch seam allowance okay and I also had it two or three more seam uh, more seam allowance and it depends on how free you want your garment to be so here I have my two and a half inch for my button placket and I drew my starting line which is my shoulder line. This is now my chest line, okay? This is my waist and this is my hip line, okay? So now, and this is the length of my top plus my seam allowance. So to start this year project, you're going to start with your three inches eight inches standard so here I'm going to put from the two inch mark I'm going to put three inch and eight inches and I'm gonna go down by one inch at the eight inch point and I'm going to find my slope Okay, so that's my shoulder slope. So now I'm going to impute my shoulder measurement. So my shoulder is 15 inches. Half of 15 inches is 7.5 and I'm adding half an inch for seam alone. So that's eight. I'm going to put the eight also at my chest line right here. And I'm going to connect those lines. Okay. Now I'm going to find the midpoint of this line because I joined the front. So the midpoint of this line. And I'm going to come in three quarters of an inch. Okay. And I'm going to first connect it to the chest line that three and a half inch that I went in and I'm going to okay now that you do that you're going to determine how wide you want your neckline to be so now this varies um, from individual if you are a small person 
I suggest that you take two and a half inches for your neck width but I'm a medium sized person or I think I am <laughs> I'm going to take three inches so for my neck width I'm going to put three inches and for my neck depth I'm going to take three inches also because it's the front okay so what I'm do gonna do is that I'm going to connect this two lines here okay right so now I'm going to put my chest measurement here okay so my bust my bust is 41 inches so that is 10.25 I'm going to add about um, half an inch or three quarters of an inch for seam allowance because this is gonna be a free top so I don't want it too too tight so I'm gonna add three quarters of an inch that's um, 11 point or 10.75 okay so let me say that again my bust is 41 inches that's 10.25 and I'm just going to make it 10.75. I had half an inch, okay? So that's 10.75, which is here. And I'm going to add one inch to sew this for sew, sewing allowance. So at this here, you're, I'm not gonna put a dart in this because it's just going to be free. I'm going to put, my waist is, 34 inches and I'm going to add one inch to that measurement so half of um, so 34 inches divided by four is eight and a half so I'm gonna add one inch nine and a half plus one inch for side seam allowance my hip is 42 inches that's ten and a half and I'm going to add one inch, 11 and a half, okay? Plus side seam allowance, okay? One inch. So here I'm going to take, I'm sorry. Here I'm going to take this 11 and a half down to the, here. So it's 11 and a half plus one inch, 12 and a half. Let me check again. So my hip is 10 point um, five. And I added one inch, 11.5 plus that 12.5. So here I'm gonna have 12.5 also. Make that into a straight line. I'm getting old guys so what I'm going to do now I'm going to make all these into a straight line okay so there I made it into a straight line I'm going to connect my hip So what I'm doing now is that I'm connecting all of those points and I'm blending up my these areas so that I don't get them too, too sharp, okay? Don't want them too, too sharp. Don't want them too sharp at all, all right? So at this point here, there are some persons who like to, you know, come up maybe about two and a half inches and then make a S 
make a S curve like this so if you want it like that you can go ahead and do it this way remember to carry it all the way down to the seam allowance if you want the S, S curve but I don't or you could make a curve like this okay you can go ahead and do that, but I don't want it mine like that, so I'll just leave mine as it is there. Okay, so this is the front of the shirt dress, okay? So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to fold my seam allowance in, my two and a half inch, like this. And I'm going to cut out the front of this dress and I'm gonna show you the back now how to achieve it so I'm going to cut this out Okay, so here you have the front of your shirt dress. Remember, if you want to curve it, you can go ahead and do it that way, okay? Or give it a curve at the side. I just want it to be like this. All right, so this is the front. I'm gonna show you to get the back. The top of the shoulder line you're going to leave an extra two inches and I'm going to explain um, to you um, why you should do that, okay? So what you're going to do from this line here, which is your shoulder line, your starting point, you're going to take your three inches, eight inches standard, just like you did at the front. Remember, this is not going to have a zipper at the back or anything, so, it's going to be left it's gonna be cut and fold okay right so now you're, I'm gonna put in my shoulder measurement remember my shoulder measurement is 8 inches that's here and I'm going to connect those points I'm gonna find the midpoint of this line and I'm going to connect it here there you go okay I hope you're understanding exactly what I'm doing if you did not, you can check out my basic bodice pattern. So here I'm going to insert my bust measurement. At the front, I left, I did 11.75, 10.75 rather. 10.75, and then plus one inch to sew it together. All right, my waist, I did, my waist is eight and a half, nine and a half, plus one inch to sew it together. And my hip, I did 10.5, 11.5, and one inch to sew it together, okay? And I'm going to connect all these lines. So at this part, remember at the front, I came 
I did a width of three inches, right? So for the back, I'm going to do three inches by half an inch because this is a shirt dress. You don't want it too low at the back. So you're gonna do half an inch at the back, okay? So I'm connecting that right now. There you go. So that's your half an inch right there. Okay. So now at the front, when we drafted the front, when you are doing a shirt dress, what you find is that the back is going to be longer than the front. So the, the, the seam that would sit at the top of your shoulder will not sit at the top of your shoulder anymore. It would be um, one inch below the shoulder line. So what you're going to do is that you're going to take one inch from the front of your shirt dress and you're going to add it to the back of the shirt dress. And that is why I told you to leave two inches allowance at the back because we're going to cut off one inch from the front and add it to the back measurement. I hope you understand that. But because we're draft, I'm drafting on my fabric, I will need seam allowance to add it together. Okay? So I'm going, instead of taking one inch from the front, right? Instead of taking one inch from the front, I'm just going to take half an inch, half an inch from the front measurement because i need that extra half an inch to sew it together so i'm going to cut off this half an inch right let me ensure that my lines are straight my line is straight right i'm going to cut off this half an inch right because remember i'm going to add it now to the back of this so at the back now at the back of this, you're going to go up one and a half inches, okay? You're going to go up one and a half inches. One inch for the front and a half an inch to sew it together. You're going to draw it here and you're going to connect that line, that one and a half inch line, okay? So that's what you're going to have at the back, okay? This is just a simple shirt dress, nothing too fancy, nothing too elaborate. Once you get the idea of how a shirt dress um, works, then you can play with it, you can put a yoke, you can manipulate it any how you want. So this is just a simple method how you can actually draft a shirt dress. So now I'm going to cut out my back. it's all about the plane all right so that's what we have for our shirt dress so what I'm going to do now so this is what you're going to have this is the back right and no this is the front but before we do anything we're going to Cut off the front, okay? 
cut it off, cut it off. We're gonna open it. Ensure that you, they are even. You don't wanna make any mistakes, okay? You don't wanna make any mistakes. So now I'm going to cut off to do is that I'm going to take my back and I'm going to put right sides facing each other. I think I'm going to put a pocket in this dress, um, this shirt dress. Yes, I think I am. All right. So let me just do that now before I show you what to do. So here I have some fabric. Not sure if it's gonna be enough. Ah, I think it is. I folded it. I folded it in four. So I folded it in half. Then I folded it again, right? And on the folded edge, I'm gonna put my hand. Hope it's enough, right? And I'm going to draw out the shape of my my pocket. There you have it, good. I'm gonna put a pocket in this sewing machine. <laughs> and I'm going to put right sides facing each other and I'm going to connect them at the shoulder. Right. Like this, all right? So right sides facing each other, I'm going to connect them at the shoulder, see? They match perfect. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you what I went ahead and I did. I went ahead and I folded half an inch in and then I folded again one inch and I run I first iron it down because it's easier to iron it, fold it, iron it, and then you run a stitch for your placket so it looks like this. And I did it for both sides. Okay? See, these are my two, the front of my shirt dress. So I'm gonna take these together, right? I also went ahead and I did the shoulder. I put the shoulder together and I ironed it down. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put these two together. Ensure that they're even, right? Sure that everything matches up. So it does. And I'm going to cut off the excess that's right here. So that's what I'm going to do now. The excess that's right here, I'm going to cut it off right here. Careful, my dear. Okay, so there you have it. So that here is your placket front. So what I'm going, I went ahead and I did is that I this is so this is what it looks like so far it's really beautiful I like I like the fabric so what you're gonna have you have your buttons right here going down but if you notice as I said earlier the shoulder it's if I should put my sides together so I'm gonna put my sides together here This is the front, right? So these are my sides together. You notice that the shoulder comes forward. The shoulder is gonna come forward like this, okay? So remember the shoulder starts from right here. So you're gonna make a notch to indicate where the shoulder starts. See, right at the point that I the one inch see 
So you make a notch so you don't make that mistake. So what I'm going to do now, I went ahead and I made my shirt color. So let me put this aside for a bit. This is my shirt color that I'm going to put on it. So I have shown you how to make a shirt color um, in one of my videos. Please go ahead and check it out so that you'll know exactly how I achieve this um, shirt color. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to take my shirt, right? What I did, I took my shirt, right? And I put the, I put the shoulders, these together, right? And I found the midpoint of it. Found the midpoint, right? Ensure that everything is the same. You don't want to make a mistake with your when you're making this because it's a very, very precise measurement that you're going to get. And you're going to take the distance around the color. Now I'm going to take my color, right? And I'm going to put right sides facing each other, right? So the right side, let me put my sleeve away. I'll talk about that it's soon. It's soon. So I'm going to put right sides facing each other. So this is the right side of my color, right? And I'm gonna put right sides facing each other, right? And you're going to put your color at the end of the placket, right? And you're going to pull that down, ensure that everything matches up, or else you will have to go back to your sewing machine and do it again. <laughs> Sucks, right? I know. Ensure that the midpoint is where it's supposed to be. Mine is exactly there. If you notice, I have a notch here, and that's where my my blue line is to show that that's where it is. So mine is correct there. So I'm pinning this right side facing. So mine is fine. If you notice, it stops exactly there. Okay, you see that? Stop exactly there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take to my sewing machine and I'm going to take my half an inch that I left. Okay, guys, so this is what we have. So I went ahead and I attached the collar to the shirt. Now I'm going to push all this in, in the under the seam allowance and I'm going to take it I hope you're seeing this I'm going to take it and I'm going to stitch very close remember we turned up half an inch underneath right that half an inch you're going to sew very close you're going to sew very very close to the edge of this to secure it so all of this goes underneath all right so you trim away all the excess those go underneath so this is what you're gonna have right and you're gonna sew close to the edge so that's what I'm going to do now I'm gonna take to my sewing machine and I'm gonna cl sew very close to the edge see how beautiful this is see the color came out really nice. This, this is what the color looks like. Wow. Okay. See, I sewed it onto it. You see, everything is nice and neat, perfect. All right, so that's what you're supposed to have. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is that this I'm gonna take this baby home. I'm gonna finish it up. But what I did was that I went ahead, let me set this aside for just a bit, and I used my 
long sleeve pattern that I made in the last tutorial and I cut out this pattern with it because I wanted you to see I will have to iron this and get out this crease I wanted you to see how it looks now this is a shirt dress it's summer and um, it's a tall sleeve but um, I just wanted you to see what how this pattern came out and that is why I used it okay you can use any color um, not color any sleeve you want um, it's up to you it's your choice but I went for the long sleeve because I just wanted you to see what it looks like so what I'm going to do now before I put my sleeve in is that I'm going to take my because I said I wanted a pocket I'm, I went ahead and I went down half an inch two and a half inch from my waist line and I attached my put my pocket in I'm going to run a seam a stitch all the way down and then I flip it over and do a top stitch on all four pockets so that's what I'm going to do now afterwards I'm going to put my sleeve in okay are in so what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to put in my sleeve because I just like to put, get my sleeve in and just make a straight stitch all the way to the bottom and finish it up so what I'm going to do I'm going to grab my sleeve right and the first thing I'm gonna do is that I'm going to hem the bottom of it so I'm just gonna surge it I'm gonna sur surge the bottom here and then I'm going to turn it up the one inch that I left okay Right now I'm finding the midpoint of my the midpoint of my sleeve. Okay. And this is the front because I made two notches to indicate the front. So this is the front of the sleeve. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take my dress and I'm going to find the midpoint because midpoint has to go to mid point all right so midpoint goes to midpoint the midpoint is here remember it's not at the see it's right there it's one inch over so I'm gonna I already marked the midpoint here so what I'm going to do so front of the sleeve goes to the front so I'm gonna grab this this is the front okay this is the front here because I notched it so this is one of the front I'm going to take this, okay, and this is the front of the sleeve, so it goes on this side, so I'm going to put this, this is the front, okay, I'm going to take it, find my midpoint, midpoint to midpoint, okay. And I'm going to go take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to attach the sleeve to it okay for both sleeves see you see my, my that my sleeves match perfectly that's what you want okay follow my how I do my sleeve, you will never get it wrong. Much perfect. Okay, I'm gonna do the back. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and I, I touched my sleeve, right? This is what it looks like, okay? Um, what I'm going to do, after I turn up my one inch, I'm going to put them together like this, okay? And I'm going to, I'm going to surge it first 
and then I'm going to take my one inch seam allowance that I've left, right, all the way down, okay? So I left one inch seam allowance. So when I reach here, so I'm taking my one inch all the way down till I reach my pocket bag, right? So I'm taking it all the way. I'm going to st stop here and go all the way around my pocket bag and then start at my seam down to the end of my garment. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you what to do next, okay? Okay guys, so this is the result of the shirt dress that we just made. You see how beautiful that is? Oh my God, it turned out pretty, pretty well. Um, so if you notice right here, this is where you put your button, your button, and then to get your button, where to put your button? All right, so you have to put a button right where your bust line is because you don't want to put your top on and your bust is it's peeking out so put a button so for instance mine is about ten and a half so I'm going to from my shoulder I'm going to measure that ten and a half and I'm gonna put a button there and then you're going to put um, a button at, um, above that about maybe three or three and a half inches depends on what you want and you're going to put your buttons all the way down so this is the result guys it came out pretty nicely um, I can't wait to try it on this is a sleeve no I'm I'm not a big fan of long sleeve clothes to be honest but let's see how this one looks on me um, if you notice the sleeves came out perfect you see the seam both seam matches it's the same thing for this one both the seams are matching and that's what you want the color is nice so if you like this tutorial give me a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe for more videos like these and leave a comment in the comment section and guess what guys I'm going to put some buttons on this and I'm going to rock it so take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.